guys how's going on my name is Louis and god bless every single one of you today is january 17 2024 and welcome to the grand supreme news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and it says here the mid e is boiling pakistan said we will strike persia mm. well you guys already know uh persia has been pushing that button, all right? And uh, they pushed it three times, three different countries. One of them is Pakistan. All right, let me just read this part really quick. Uh, it says here, Persia said, we are not playing with our security. We destroyed a base and there was no mistake. Ooh. The situation in a wider region of the Mid-E is chaotic, as after Persia missile strikes in Iraq, which uh, provoked strong reactions from the Iraqi Gov and uh -oh, the KUIDS. Persia capital launched a strike against targets on Pakistani soil, opening new fronts and escalating the cycle and lawless all right guys before i start give this video a big thumbs up share this video with your friends family so loved ones i appreciate the love and support and for those of you that want to contribute to the channel once again the paypal link and the patreon link is in the description box also guys one dollar a month patreon we get your access to our live stream every sunday we talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform also i posted videos today those link will be in the comments box and for those of you that want to send us letters to pray we Press, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Guys, I just posted a video not too long ago. You have the sleeping giant inside of Warrens. We are on the break of WW3. Once again, guys, this link will be in the comments box if you want to check it out. The sleeping giant are putting Persia unnoticed. They're telling Persia, you better behave. You better behave. Um, so, it's, tensions are rising right now, guys. It's pretty tough uh, in the Mid-E nowadays. Actually, it's pretty tough all over the place. <sighs> this is where we at, guys. And uh, we, It's like every single day that it's a new land that is being dragged into the battlefield. And it's like the Romans. You know, the Romans had the, the, the stadium where you had the barbarians and you had all these brutal fights going on and then you had lions and stuff. I mean, it's, it's that arena, the Roman Empire arena. Everybody's being dragged into that arena. And that's what's going on right now. The Sleeping Giant is that arena bringing in all the lands to battle. All right, it says here, you have the pack, and you know what, which has nuclear very, very powerful nukes, spoke of a violence of its national sovereignty and warned of harsh retaliation, while anger prevails in both uh, Iraq and Kurds over yesterday lawlessness by Persia, with the Iraqis arguing that it is possible to suspend the security agreement with Persia. When spoken of peace or security, this sudden destruction shall follow. Scripture. We are seeing uh, Bible prophecy happening. All right, so you have Persia FM. He's coming out. Ooh, he's out there at Davos. Very important people. Everybody's out there. Everyone is out there except for the bad leader uh, and Kim and certain others. So he's out there, and he's uh, he's saying we have good relations with uh, both pack, and you know what, and I, and we have security packs with both on fighting the T group. Now it says here, and security our common borders. We uh, go after certain T groups. Okay, so I'm just gonna skip this, um, guys. I'm gonna share this link over on my Twitter page. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. I post all the updates. I post all the source. I post a lot of information and even this video here. All right, so a lot of this stuff, I'm just gonna skip, guys.
we have detailed information that the place targeted in this region was indeed this uh, group headquarters. All right, so we already know that. We're just going to skip it. None of the Pakistan uh, citizens were impacted by Persia. Uh, that's not true. According to Pakistan, uh, they came out and said that at least two were taken out. All right, so you have Persia and Pakistan front. Persia airstrike against uh, Tiger and Pakistan uh, soil have dangerously escalated tensions between the two. Although it is common for these groups on both sides to fire and exchange fire. However, these events have so far not involved the two armies. All right, so once again, that's very important to know. That uh, this event that took place, all right, has so far not involved military, the armies. So it's not like armies are going at it. Not yet. <laughs> so, but uh, this is something that uh, Pakistan uh, Gov is putting their foot down, telling Persia, next time you let us know before you start pushing buttons. Persia launched strike against bases of these group. All right, and um, uh, which is said to be seeking independence for, I'm going to skip that name, province, which uh, strandles the 1,000 kilometers borderline between the two states. So Pakistan uh, claimed that the strike had taken two, uh, two young ones, 11 months and a six years old, and uh, has impacted two more, a woman and a teenage girl. And my again, my condolences and prayers to the families and friends that lost their loved ones. One thing I tell you guys, you know me. I don't support none of these W A R. All right, I'm I'm not a cheerleader. Again, we were called to be disciples and go out to the world and share the good news, and that's the gospel of Jesus Christ. Information indicates that the event was carried out with very powerful system, three or four drones which uh, hit uh, various uh, regions, such as the these group base, uh, excuse me, mosque, and a resistance. Again, you have uh, this man here from Persia. He's saying none of the Pakistan uh, citizens were impacted, but that's not true. Two has passed, and the other two are in critical condition. Like I said, guys, I'm going to share this link over my Twitter page if you guys want to check out the videos. They do have translation. So what the foreign ministry and the, I'm going to skip that name, guards say? Well, we destroyed this group base. We did not make a mistake. So that was their aim. That was their mission to take out that group base. So as reported by the Persian news agency, uh, Persia military and the border forces launched an event that has taken out these group uh, base, uh, which Persia considers a T organization. Now, Persia border forces conducted an operation against an armed cell of these group T organization. All right, so we already know that. I'm just going to skip some of this. I just want to see what Pakistan got to say. Um, so they found this, a lot of stuff, when they took out certain uh, regions, they say that uh, during the operation, there were several, some, some very powerful system out there, very powerful stuff, equipment were discovered in the possession of that T organization. Their plan for large-scale T strike both in Persia and the mid E region have been uh, thwarted, uh, the statement said. Persia foreign minister um, said at the Davos summit. All right, so they took out uh, facilities that were storing very, very, very powerful stuff. So they learning from someone. This, this sounds familiar. 
they're learning from the bear because <laughs> so, the bear is doing the same thing in UKR. The bear is taking out facility that is storing sleeping giant weapons. So uh, Persa is doing the same thing too. They are storing, I mean, they are hitting certain, uh, on certain facilities that is, you know, keeping certain stuff in there. All right, it says here we have detailed information that the site that was uh, impacted in this land was indeed these group headquarters. All right, so we already know this. We're just going to skip it. I feel like uh, they just keep repeating the same story in this uh, news article. So we respect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Pakistan and Iraq, but we will not allow Persia security to be compromised. We don't play around when it comes to our national security. All right. We do not tolerate the presence of T organization in this land. All right. So we see that the security of Iraq and Pakistan as part of the security of Persia. All right. Let me skip some of this stuff. So before this meeting, I spoke with my Pakistani counterpart about this event. We respect, this is coming out from Persia FM. We respect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Pakistan and Iraq, but we won't allow Persia security to be jeopardized. We don't play when it comes to our national security. All right, so they put in their, their response. Why we did this? Well, again, uh, we just feel like we had to do it. They're planning something against us. We're not going to let uh, sit back and just let them do it. We will answer. A senior Pakistan official claimed that Pakistan had received no warning. There you go. No warning from Persia about the impending strike. As he said, Pakistan uh, reversed the right to respond at a place and time chosen by the land, pointing out that it will be a measured strike and in line with the expectation of public opinion. Persia has set a dangerous uh, precedent that it is stabilizing and will have mutual consequences. Mm. So Persia never gave a notice and say, hey, we're going to strike. And the reason why, guys, is because if Persia says something like that, then the enemies will be prepared. That's why Persia did a surprise hit. They pushed the button without uh, warning them. Uh, but again, um, you have to let them know. Um, it's like hearing a sleeping giant. Just imagine Mexico pushed the button on us. Well, we did it because, you know, you have certain groups in there and... They said they were going to do something to us. So, you know, we come first. <laughs> so uh, it says here, recalls the ambassador to Persian capital. Pakistan uh, foreign ministry, uh, which earlier called Persia missile strike illegal, announced that it was recalling its ambassador from Persia and would not allow the Persian ambassador to return uh -oh, to Pakistan. Uh, this violation of Pakistan uh, national sovereignty is completely unacceptable and may have serious consequences, serious consequences, serious cons. Basically, uh, they're not pleased. Pakistan always says that the T is a common threat to all lands in the region and requires coordinated action. Such unilateral action do not confirm to good neighboring uh, relations and could undermine bilateral trust, Pakistan said. It is noted that Persia and Pakistan, uh, which has nuclear, have recently increased the cooperation as they also conducted joint naval, ex naval exercises. Hold on, give me a second here. It said what? It is noted that Persia and Pakistan which has nuclear, uh, no, Pakistan has nukes, Persia don't, but I believe Persia has something, uh, they made a deal with the bear, so I do believe they have something, tensions with, uh, Iraq as well, 
security agreement with Persia to be suspended. It begins. It begins. This is it. It is noted that this uh, event took place a few hours after a corresponding missile strike in this region, in the autonomous uh, K region in northern Iraq. Once again, you have the Persian uh, guards, which claim responsibility for the event, claim to have hit the headquarters of ISR group. And arguments that both the K and the Iraq, you know, were categorically rejected. All right, so I'm just going to skip some of this stuff here, guys. Persia strike in Pakistan dominate Pakistan print media this morning. Hmm. Well, it seems like uh, peace and security. Mm -mm. Pakistan is not pleased. They're not pleased with uh, this situation here. Let me just bring you back up really quick in this one. So the mid E is boiling. Yes, it is, guys. And Pax said we will strike Persia. We will strike Persia. Um, we don't know, guys, if that's going to happen. But like I mentioned in my last video that we are close to WWE 3. If that do take place, uh, it's going to be game on. And, you know, prices will hit the roof, especially oil and gas prices. So, uh, once again, this is where we are right now. Persia pushed the button three times, three different countries. The only one land they haven't pushed the button on is I-S-R-A-E-L. The sleeping giant uh, told Persia, you better be careful. You better behave. You're going to be firing towards I-S-R. That's the only one they haven't fired yet. If that happens, according to some experts, it will be the end of Persia. But my gut tells me it won't be the end of Persia. It just be the tip of WW3. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.